in the previous video we looked at what is a system view in this video we look at the quick find system view so the quick find view is a default view which is used when searches are performed using quick find so using this view we can also define what fields are searched using the search capabilities of the quick find and lookup fields so in dynamics 365 we have this feature called the quick find so to use it just click on this search icon and now you can search your uh, data that is now let's say that I want to search for this a datum corporation record using the quick find so to do that I just click on search and then just enter a part of the name and I'll be shown a set of results based out of the uh, records data okay I have the option to configure the way the data is being displayed over here that is like you can see that it is displaying the name of the record and then it's displaying the phone number now I can I have the option to configure what appears over here Okay. If I want, I can uh, make the email address appear over here instead of the phone number or any other data from any field. Okay. Similarly, I have the option to configure based out of which fields data we can search on. That is, right now, I'm searching based out of the account name. Similarly, we can search based out of the data from other fields as well so we can configure based out of which fields data we can search so that is all uh, configured in in that particular entity's quick find uh, view so let's go ahead and uh, configure the accounts quick find view so to do that i will again go to the default solution by clicking on customize the system then I've, uh, I'll be navigating to the view section and then I look for the uh, view of the type quick find so I'm just going to sort by the type so there you go so this is a view which we need to configure so this is a quick find view so let's go ahead and open it to customize it the first thing which we need to do is we need to so the first thing which we need to do is we need to configure what are the fields which need to appear in the uh, result okay the first three fields will be displayed in the result so the first three fields which we have is account name email and main phone since email is blank for all these three records it's just displaying a blank line if we want to display the account number in the result then all you need to do is just move it to the left so to do that just click on it once and you'll see that uh, highlighted green uh, rectangle okay and then just click on that left arrow okay so now what will happen is the account name will be displayed at the top followed by the account number it will be displayed here followed by the email okay the email will be displayed over here at the bottom okay now let's say that instead of email i want the uh, primary contact okay so i'm just going to choose that that is i, I just clicked on it and you'll see that green uh, rectangle and then i'm just going to click on the left arrow that is this button right here so now my uh, results is configured that is the fields which will appear in the results that is configured my account name will be displayed account number and primary contact so the next thing which I want to do is edit the filter criteria okay so filter criteria is basically a filter will be applied on the result other than the data 
base out of which you are searching for, a filter will be applied. That is, base out of what you entered over here as a keyword, you displayed all these records. Now, if you uh, if you want to like uh, filter, if you want to apply a filter on this, we can do it. So now there's already a filter which has been applied on the result. That is status equals active. It will display only the records which is active and which has this particular keyword in the data of the fields which is set up for the search. Now let's say that I want to apply one more filter criteria. That is I want to display the records in which the email is not null okay so if it's not null then my criteria is it should contain data okay so now it will only display the records which is state which has the status equals active and email equals i mean email contains data now if you do not mention any of the operator by default it is an and condition Okay. Now if you want to make it an OR condition, that is if it's enough to just satisfy one of these two conditions, then all you need to do is just click on that, uh, click on this uh, down arrow, and just click on select row, similarly for this one and just click on group OR. So what this will do is, it will it will only, uh, I mean, it will uh, look at the records which satisfy any of these two conditions. Now, to remove this uh, operator, just select that and click on ungroup. Okay. Now, if you do not mention any of the operator, then by default, it is just going to assume that it is an AND condition. That is, it will check if status equals active and email contains data. Okay, so I'm, uh, I'm done with my uh, filter criteria. I'm just going to click on OK. Next, we can do the sorting. So if you want to sort the results, if you want it to appear in a certain order, then just click on configure sorting. Right now, it is sorting by the account name by ascending order that is from a to c now if you want to change it just select the field base out of which it needs to be sorted let's say that i want to sort it by the account number and you can choose the operator whether it is ascending order or descending order now if you note this it will only display the fields which is being used in the view. Like right now, we are using the account name, account number, primary contact, email, main phone, and address one city. A total of six fields. Okay. So only the fields which is being uh, used to be displayed in the view, only those will be available to sort based out of. Okay. Because that makes sense, right? Because unless and until it is, uh, it is part of the results, then only we can like uh, sort it. Okay, so only these six fields will appear in the list of fields with which we can sort. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Let the uh, sorting remain the way it is. I want it to be sorted by the account name itself by ascending order. So I'm just going to click on OK. So right now, the data from any of these six fields will be displayed in the results. If you want to display the data from some other field, then just click on add view columns first. Okay. And then choose the field based out of which, which you want to uh, like, you know, show in the results. Let's say that I want to display the annual revenue in the results. So all I need to do is just select that and click on OK. 
so now what will happen is annual revenue will be added to the uh, fields which will be displayed in the result now if you want it to appear in the top three just move it to the left so right now account name account number and annual revenue is displayed in the result okay so that is basically add view columns if you want you can add multiple fields all you need to do is just select it like this okay i'm not going to do that now but but yeah that's how you do it okay then we have the find columns with find columns you can uh, configure which fields data is searchable okay so that means right now if i enter the account name of an account or the email of an account or the other phone of an account the results will be displayed any other fields data if you enter it it will not be displayed okay that is the results will not uh, i mean the uh, search will not yield any results for example there is this field called the main phone right now it is not set to be searched okay that is let me open a record right now this records phone is this now if i search based out of this it will not yield any results at the moment so let me show what i mean by that if i enter the phone number you'll see that there is no results found based out of that phone number because that field is not set to be searchable okay so now let me go ahead and add that to the fields which can be searched for the results now we'll see what happens okay so i click on okay all right so now the uh, find columns is set and then finally we have the change properties so using change properties what you can do is you can define how wide that column needs to be for that particular field right now it is showing the uh, column uh, width which is available for annual revenue similarly if you want to change it for account number just select that and just click on change properties and you can configure how wide it needs to appear and finally we have the remove option so using remove if you want to remove one of the fields from the uh, results like let's say i want to remove the city and i just selected that and clicked on remove just click on okay and that will be re re removed from the uh, from the uh, results i'm done with all my changes so all i need to do now is just click on save or save and close so i'm just going to click on save and close and then I'm just going to click on publish all customizations it is important to uh, publish the customizations otherwise the changes which you did for the views will not be applied okay so now let's go ahead and test out our changes let me search based out of this accounts phone number again let's see what happens click on enter so there you go you'll see that based out of uh, what i entered in the search criteria the results have been applied since i applied the uh, main phone as a searchable field it is yielding results based out of that and you'll see that the account name the account number and annual revenue field is being displayed okay that is the result of your changes to the add view columns and add find columns okay now let's go ahead and test out our filter criteria so we added a new filter criteria which said that email should contain data so right now it contains data okay 
that is as this data for the email so now if I actually search it with the phone number it will yield results okay however now let's say that I go ahead and uh, remove that email let's see what happens it and saving it so now if I go ahead and search with that same phone number see what happens you'll see that no results have been found because although there is a record which exists with this particular phone number it failed to meet one of our filter criteria which is email contains data okay so that is basically about quick find views in the next video we'll look at advanced find views